What's up everyone and welcome to Pokemon Sweet Version! This is gonna be a sweet playthrough. Okay, I couldn't help it. Anyway, this is gonna be the new playthrough here. Now that we are sort of done with Pokemon Uranium, sort of done with Pokemon Insurgents, while we wait for both of those games to update, I decided to do a short and sweet playthrough of this game here, which a lot of people also seem to suggest. Well, actually, a lot of people suggested that I do another game with Fakemon, and one of those was actually called Pokemon Lunar Dark and Solar Light, I believe. And that game actually looked really cool, but I didn't want to jump into another game with so many Fakemon right after doing uh, Uranium. So I decided to pick Pokemon Sweet version, which sort of has Fakemon as well. You can see this isn't quite your regular Snorlax here. So it's going to be kind of a combination between real Pokemon and Fakemon, um, or I guess they are called Poke Sweets. They're not even called Pokemon. I don't know, but this is also going to be a Nuzlocke. A lot, a lot of people wanted me to jump back into a Nuzlocke, so I'll explain what that is exactly for those of you that don't know in a second. But before we get started, as with every new playthrough, if you guys are excited for this one, be sure to hit that like button. That would be amazing. If we can hit 1,500 likes on this video, I'll try and post it daily. Even though Nuzlocke's daily... We don't really go together very well. I tend to mess up a lot, so I don't know. Should be really fun, though. It uh, looks like this game is mostly complete, so let's go and hit that start button already. Come on. I'm ready to get into it. Uh, so we should actually read this a little bit because you can see this is not your regular Pokemon Fire Red version. This is Pokemon Sweet by Ephraim225 and Chanini. Special thanks to all players and testers. Well, I guess we're going to be a player right now, so you're welcome. And thank you to the creators for making this awesome game. I played a little bit of it, and I've seen some other people play through it as well, and it looks really awesome. I want to refrain from saying it looks really sweet, but that's kind of what I... I, I don't know, man. Anyway, this here, welcome! Or when, when traveling through Sweetland, remember to remain in control of your appetite at all times. Do not eat too much, do not eat your poke sweets except in small bites, and most importantly, do not eat your friends or family out of house and home. <laughs> Very, very good advice there from, uh, Pokemon Sweet. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to Sweetland! This world is inhabited by creatures called Poke Sweets. For some people, Poke Sweets are pets, others use them for battling. You saw there, it's like a little cupcake, Eevee. I think all of the names or most of them are like puns too, so man, I'm gonna love this game. I love me some puns. I think I'm a pretty punny guy sometimes, but... Man, only sometimes. It kind of just comes naturally, like that one uh, Demi Lovato song. Anyway, tell me a little bit about yourself. All right, Oak. Chill out, boy. I'm, I'm, go I'm, a, I'm a boy. I'm a boy is what I'm trying to say. I think we should give ourselves a different name. But then again, an orange is already something kind of sweet, so... Okay, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, an orange is already something kind of sweet, so I guess we're okay with that one. Not O-Rage. Nope, that's, that was not an N. Where's the G? There we go. Man, I cannot type for the life of me today. Right, so your name is Orange. Yes, it is, sir. Forget who this guy is. He's your rival, I guess. I don't know. What was his name now? Great choices here. Jeff, Sony, Sony, really? Sony? Lloyd, Gary. All right, we're going to give this guy a new name. Since we're Orange, we should give this guy also not really a fruity name, but I guess kind of a sweet name. Well, we'll call him, uh, we'll call him Vanilla. <laughs> It sounds like a good time. Actually, you know what? I have another idea. So when I was in Chicago, uh, like a week and a half ago, I met this kid named Sunday. I call him a kid because he was like 17, so I guess he was technically a kid. But his name was actually Sunday, and I thought that was cool that his name was Sunday. So we're gonna call him Sunday. Sunday, if you ever watch this video, bud, you are now immortalized in Pokemon Sweet version, I guess. I don't know. A world of dreams, adventures with dessert awake. Let's go! The first time, or I remember when I was younger, I would read dessert as desert, and I'd be like, what is it talking about? Why would I want to eat a desert? That's just so weird, man. Sand doesn't taste very good. But then I realized it was dessert, and then I realized that I wasn't very good at English. So I watched a ton of cartoons and played a ton of games in English, and then I perfected it, and now I know more English than Spanish somehow. So pretty great stuff. But anyway, before we start off the Pokemon adventure, always change that to fast. For some reason, this is mono. I don't know if that actually does anything. Uh, I always want to use the orange frame, but this one kind of fits for this game. Oh, I like this one, actually. I don't know. Which one should I go for? One or two? All the other ones seem like the default, so we'll just keep the default for that. But yeah, always change that 
uh, tech speed to fast, at least if you're a fast reader like me. Then again, I'm kind of an average reader, I'm not really fast, but... Faster than medium speed, that's for sure. Good morning, honey. You sure got up early. You're probably going to explore now that you've moved in, right? In that case, you should take these. Aw, oh, thanks, Mom. Don't forget, you can run by holding B. Come back when you need to have rest. Have fun, honey. Why is she calling us honey? Man, there sure seems to be kind of a, a sweet theme to this game, right? I don't know why. Why could it be? Oh my god, it's because we're in Cookie Village. <laughs> so yeah, this whole game is... uh. Not really candy theme, but just sweet theme, like just sweet foods. I mean, that's why it's called Pokemon Sweet Version. Uh, but I guess now that we're in the game, I should explain what a Nuzlocke is for those of you that don't know. Ooh, I'm very annoyed. My friend John made a mess. I wound up stuck with the chores because he left when I woke up. He went up north. If you're going up there, beat him up for me. Or beat him? Not even be beat him for me. All right, dude, whatever you say. Hey, it's Sunday's house. Let's check out Sunday's house. I'll explain the Nuzlocke thing in just a second. I just... I'm so amazed by this game, man. Everything is like candy and it's awesome. I wanna be the very best. <sighs> He's just sleeping. I wanna sleep with him. Let's sleep in this bed. There we go. I mean, we're not really sleeping with him, more like next to him, sort of. I guess he doesn't do anything for us right now, though. Uh, but look at this, man. <laughs> Is this really a milk river? Oh my goodness. I'm hungry, but I refuse to eat the ground. That's beneath me. I get it, because the ground is literally beneath her. But it's also beneath her to eat the ground, because who would eat ground? Why? This house has no door or anything. I just realized they're gingerbread houses. And the trees are vanilla ice cream cones. This is amazing. You want some potions? All yours as long as you got the dough. The dough like we're gonna make a cake. Alright, I don't really think I need any potions. We don't even have Pokemon, so why would we... Yeah, yeah, that was, that was not a very good one. Uh, so where are we even going here? We gotta go get our starter Pokemon. The starters in this game are pretty dang cool, I must say. The roads here are made of fudge. It's so yummy. Sorry, but my sister ate the road. You need to wait for it to grow back. What? The little girl ate the road, so we can't leave the town. Are you kidding? <laughs> I don't think this world... Why are there just, like, normal trees over here? I oh, don't know. I guess our, our mom must like normal trees. But here is the Pokemon professor's house. Cinna. Cinnamon? Cinnabon? I love Cinnabon, man. This stuff is good. You're here for a Poke Sweet, right? Well, don't waste time. Go get him! Why are May and Brendan here? I'm here to get a Poke Sweet from Cinna. How about you? Same thing? Do you guys, like, are you a hive mind? Do you great minds think alike kind of thing? Alright, here's the professor! Welcome! I'm Professor Cinna! I bake my own Poke Sweets! Just like that chick from Nerdy Nummies. She just created her own Pokemon. This is what happens if the chick from Nerdy Nummies got, like, some sort of superpower and all her creations came to life. This game would have been created, basically. What's a Poke Sweet? Oh, you just moved here. Well then, you should see them for yourself. In fact, two others were gonna be here soon! We're here, Professor! Ah, Mark and Katia. Ka Katia? Katia. I'm gonna say Katia. Good timing on your arrival. This is your new neighbor. Just got settled in, in fact. Wait, does that mean you've never seen a Poke Sweet? Oh boy, you are missing out! Cinna, you should give one to Orange. Yeah, don't you have enough for all three of us? I do indeedy! Alright, it's settled then. Orange, see those containers on the table? They contain Poke Sweets. Go ahead and choose one! So this is our first major choice here and i guess i'll take this second to explain nuzlocke i mean most of you probably know by now basic rules are uh if your pokemon dies or faints rather it is considered dead forever so i can't use it anymore and the other rule that is going to start applying right now is that i can only catch the first pokemon that i encounter in a route or town unless they're like gift pokemon then i think there's an exception so i guess this is kind of an exception because we're getting a gifted Pokemon. But this is going to be our starter Pokemon. So our choices here are, first of all, Brownisaur, a cherry-type Pokesweet. <laughs> That's the other thing. A big plot twist in this game is that the Pokesweets actually have completely new types. It's not your usual fire, grass, and water. This is Strawmander, the straw-type Pokesweet. So we got Cherry-type and Strawberry-type so far. And finally, we've got Squirpie, an Apple-type Pokesweet. So who shall we pick on this adventure? Now, I know a lot of people like to do the choose your starter thing, but I feel like that would make the episode really short. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Squirpie. The cool thing about this game is you've got two rivals, so we get to see the other two starters grow up alongside our little Squirpie as well. That is, as long as Squirpie can survive the terror of Nuzlocke. We'll see. Strong too! Why don't you try battling with them? Good idea! How about it? Oh my goodness! We're already getting into rival battle! Oh boy! <laughs> 
Look at her. She's not even like the regular. Oh, I guess it's the leaf spray. I thought it was going to be May, but she's wearing like a little strawberry hat. And it looks like she started off with Strawmander or Strawander, Straw Strawander. All right, something like that. What is our little Squirt Pie? It's literally just Squirtle with a pie on his chest. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I like that. Oh, well. Thing about Nuzlocke, I just said, if our Pokemon ever faint, then we lose. And you know, one thing that we probably don't want to do is lose this first battle. Thankfully, Squirt Pie is a beast and just got a critical hit on that Strawander, so. Guess what, little buddy? You may have a strawberry on your tail and look super cute, and I love it. <laughs> I love these Pokemon, man. This is all right. This is definitely the game for me, man. You guys know when I was playing through Uranium, I loved all the cute Pokemon the most. Every single Pokemon in this game is gonna be super cute, so I'm excited for it. But there's our first rival battle. No losses so far. I was gonna explain a brief history of Nuzlocke on my channel because those of you that haven't been around for that long uh, may not know, but the very first Nuzlocke I ever did was a Pokemon Sacred Gold, which is this hack of Heart Gold that makes it a little bit more challenging and adds like a few story changes to make it a little more interesting too. Wow, the critical hits are real, holy moly. Oh, you wanna growl like that? You know what? I'm gonna give you a tail wag, dude. Are you? Okay. I, I guess, I guess not. I guess I'm not giving you the tail wag. All right. I wonder what our ability is though, because we've hit like two critical hits already within the first two battles. That's pretty crazy. Well, I'll just hit a third one right now. Check it out. The crit. Oh, okay. Not really. Uh, but yeah, sacred gold. That was my first Nuzlocke. I actually got all the way up to the seventh gym, I think, before I lost it. So you lose a Nuzlocke if you ever black out or if you just run out of Pokemon. Like you don't... Since when your Pokemon faint, they're considered dead, you can either release them into the wild through the PC or just put them in a box that is labeled death or something like that where you don't use those Pokemon anymore. Uh, so I lost that one around the seventh gym. Then I tried again Pokemon Volt White and that one did not go well at all. I actually lost it the, after the second gym, so did not go too well. Uh, but the most of those were like challenging versions of a regular Pokemon game. So after that, I decided, you know what? Maybe we should try a regular Pokemon game. We should try and win a Nuzlocke, right? So I did Pokemon Emerald and we actually managed to beat the Elite Four and Champion in that one. So hopefully Pokemon Sweet goes okay. I know people get really excited for Nuzlocke. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am because I, man, after Emerald, I, I feel like I'm riding the train, man, and I think we can do Pokemon Sweet. We got this. You're thinking of exploring Sweetland, right? Take these. We're going to get a cookbook and sweet balls. Ooh, I don't know about sweet balls. The cookbook's probably the Pokedex, though. Why? Because. What do you guys have to say? You're a tough battler. Are you going to say the same thing? All right. They're literally just a hive mind. They're zombies. How's your adventure going? Lady, we just started. What are you talking about? Anyway, here's our cookbook. Let's check that out. We got... Cakes, pies, donuts, candies, cupcakes, swirlies, fudgy, specials. What is a special? I guess Strawander is a special. I would think that would be like a... Huh, I guess it's not in any of these. Wow, so these are the different types of Pokemon that we can find. Cakes, pies, donuts, candies, cupcakes, swirlies, fudgies. There's our first fudge brownie sore. This is pretty cute stuff. And obviously, uh, Score Pie is going to be in pies there. And then we have Numerical. All right, so that's our cookbook. Pretty nice stuff there, and then if we check our party so far, we only have the one Pokemon. I don't know what's up with his little overworld sprite, but, um, Lonely Nature. I wonder what that does. Ooh, and we learned Bubble, which is apparently an Apple-type move. So I'm gonna definitely have to learn all of the type advantages. It looks like Vanilla is just, um, Normal-type, and Apple might be Fire-type. I don't know, I guess the colors don't really... Uh, affect that. It's just the color of it. apples is red, but it's got shell armor, which actually blocks critical hits. It has nothing to do with us getting critical. So I guess we literally just got lucky there getting two critical hits in that first rival battle. Um, so the final thing I guess I should explain before, you know, we go into the first route. Like I said, I can only catch the first Pokemon in each route. So now that we're heading into the Cookie Meadow, the first Pokemon that we run into here is the one that we'll be able to catch. I mean, this isn't a thing that like the game enforces or anything, but those are the rules of the Nuzlocke and that's what we're going with. So, sheesh, you're fast. We just got done battling. Mark, you were just quick to get out after I won. Give me a break. We both had a 50-50. Point taken. We should get more Poke Sweets. We can capture wild ones after their weekend, of course. Hey, guys, wait up. Oh, my goodness. It's Sunday. Finally caught up. Who are you? Your next door neighbor. Hey, I have a name. I'm Sunday. Now I'm not interested. Just putting that out there. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, you want to get serious, huh? Okay, then let's battle. Sure, Orange, get rid of him. So you're the new kid. All right, show me what you got. 
and they disappear. All right. I love this. Three rival battles in the first episode. This is just, this is amazing. And he's got a Popsichu. What is this? <laughs> it, it's Popsicle Pikachu. He looks kind of like an orange type to me. I don't know. Maybe our apple attack will be super effective, you know? Apples be oranges. I don't know. And it turns out that it is. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. We, <laughs> we're super effective against Popsichu. Alright, I'm not going to nickname my Pokemon in this playthrough, I don't think, because the nicknames are already pretty good. I don't know, you guys let me know. This is kind of Fakemon, so let me know, should I nickname the Pokemon or not? Up to you guys. I know in uh, Uranium, we didn't nickname him though, so that we can see what the names of the Pokemon are, but in this one, since they're kind of halfway between Fakemon and Pokemon, well, they're Poke Sweets, so we gotta call them what they are. Cinna must have back baked my Poke Sweet, but I'm still rearing to go another round. Where'd Mark and Katia go? This isn't over! Alright, kid, whatever you say. Wait, what the? Is that an item? I guess that's an item. They're just presents. Hey, we found a sweet ball. Nice. So, let's catch our first Pokemon. What shall it be? Nobody knows. It looks like it's Meowfin. <laughs> it's a Meowth Muffin. I feel like I shouldn't point out what all of the Pokemon are named because it's it's gonna be pretty obvious as soon as you see the name. They're just kind of, I guess, puns and and portmanteaus, portmanteau. How do you say that? Basically, uh, two words put together. So, this is gonna be our first Pokemon. Let's throw that sweet sweet ball. It's actually even a little bit recolored. Maybe it's made out of chocolate. I don't know. It'd be like Willy Wonka. And our first Pokemon is Meowfan. Though I guess technically our first Pokemon was Square Pe Square Pie. Squirpie. Squirpie! Squirpie! I love Squirpie. He's, he's, he's awesome, man. But yeah, Meowfin, probably a uh, normal type. Well, I guess in this game, vanilla. Small objects like fruits and seeds tend to get stuck on its icing paws. These improve its taste greatly. <laughs> man, I love this game. I love that everything is about food. Okay, so can you actually eat your Poke Sweets? Because that seems really messed up to me. I don't know. Sorry we ditched you, that guy gets annoying sometimes. He always wants to be better than everyone else, and he never succeeds. Sounds exactly like Gary then. Looks like there are mostly vanilla types around here. Vanilla is bland, but it complements other types rather nicely. Oh, so I guess it makes, it's literally like normal type. Normal types are kind of bland, but when put together with other typings, they're actually pretty good, because they're not really weak to much except for fighting. What the heck, man? We could have gotten a Lickerita. We could have gotten a licorice Chikorita, man, and instead we got Meowfin. Come on, dude. I mean, I like cats, but come on. We could we could have gotten a licorice Chikorita. I wonder what type this thing is. I actually kind of want to catch a lot of Pokemon just to see. And that is not super effective on us. I am really going to have to pull up the type charts because this is scary. I don't know, because the moves are still normal. Like, uh, you know, it's still called Bubble, but when you see Bubble, you think like, oh, that's gonna be a water move, right? Nope, in this game, it's an apple type attack, so unless there's a licorice type, I have no idea what the heck that Lickerita would be. Oh, look at Meowfin and the little Pokemon sprites thing. That's weird, because Squirpie doesn't really look like itself, but then Meowfin is just Meowth with like icing on his head, so that's cool. What does this dude have to say? Drop my items, I can't remember where I dropped him. Hey, you interested in a battle? Sure, dude, let's go. Let's do it. We got a battle in the first route already. This is crazy, man. This game is not giving us any breaks. Yo, it's John. Oh, this is the kid that we were supposed to beat up. Nice. Well, I don't know. I don't think Meowfin is going to be um, weak to anything considering it's vanilla type, but this will probably be neutral effective, you know, get a little bit of apple in that vanilla, vanilla apple, vanilla apple. Is that a thing? Like, can you, can you put vanilla on an apple and it would actually taste better? I don't think so. But according to Meowfin, when it puts its paws on anything, it makes it taste better. So, man, three critical hits in the first episode. Could this be a premonition of what is to come? I really hope so, because, man, it would be awesome if we could just uh, get critical hits on everything we find. So it looks like Meowfin, according to that guy, has pickup. Does mine have pickup? Calm nature. And it does have pickup. Nice. Oh, by the way, these Zs that you see in the stats, uh, those are the IV or the EVs, I believe. So, as your Pokemon gets EVs, um, that Z stat will go up all the way up to S, I think. So, yeah, it goes, you know, F, D, E, or sorry, man, I don't know my alphabet backwards. That's something I've never been able to do. Uh, F, E, D, C, B, A, uh, and then S is the highest that you can get. So, 
yeah. That kind of shows that. It's not quite, like, it doesn't show the exact EV, like, from 255 or whatever, the highest you can have in each one. Uh, but it does show, I guess, a uh, letter value of around what you've got, so. I can't find my pearl! I can't look pretty without it! Where is it? I had it just a few hours ago! I wonder if it's, there's actually, like, a pearl somewhere around here. I don't know. Maybe we'll look for that for that lady, but it looks like we made it to the next town. I don't know what this place is. Flower Town! We have both kinds of it here. Flowers and flowers! Oh, dude, I love this game. This is, this is too good. My brother isn't back from the forest yet. It's not that dangerous. He's just getting flower. Which kind of flower is he getting? It doesn't really work as well when you're spelling it out, though, because you can kind of see she's talking about flower. Hey, kid, want to know how to catch a wild poke sweet? Ah, you already know. Okay, fine then. <laughs> I like that in this game. They don't bother. They're like, okay, kids probably know at this point how to catch Pokemon if they're playing Pokemon Sweet version. So we're not going to bother, but there are some berries here, and from what I read, you can apparently grow your own poke sweets, which sounds pretty interesting to me. I'm not sure how that works into the Nuzlocke, because if you can grow your own Pokemon... And that kind of, I don't know if that like counts or whatever, but here's the baking school, so maybe we can learn about it here. I'm trying to memorize all of my notes. Oh, we can probably learn about type advantages here. Various flavors and their relations are listed. Let's see, cherry, strawberry, and apple are effective against orange. Man, come on. But lose to raspberry, which loses to grape and blueberry. Orange beats banana and lemon, which in turn beat each other. Lime beats blueberry, but loses to banana and lemon. Those are the basics. What the... I got none of that, so I'm literally going to end off the episode here, and we are going to be studying up on our PokeSweet flavors, because I'm going to need to learn those if I'm to win this Nuzlocke. We got to learn our type advantages, or in this case, our flavor advantages. So, thank you guys so much for watching this first episode. Like I said, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and I'll try to bring you some more of these on the daily. This guy doesn't want to talk, so, I don't know. Just like me, I don't want to talk anymore, so, bye!